Speaking of the Academy Sports and Outdoors Game of the Week, it's the Coney Bowl, third annual edition of this rivalry between St. James and Carolina Forest. And I tell you what, it's been an exciting week for both schools. Not just what was happening on the football field preparing for this one, but also in the classroom, around school, outside of school, you name it. Each of these schools put up a fight to win the Spirit Award. We're going to get to that a little bit later on in the show, but you could see that it also translated to what the action was like on the field. That's what it's all about. School spirit and bringing it to the football field, showing off all that hard work that you did all week long, sweating it and grinding it at practice to play in the big one and get the W. Who would get it tonight? With that, the Shark Tank in the house. They, of course, weren't the only ones. There's the old Spirit Award. The Neon Panthers in full effect. And here come the Panthers. Fired up and ready to go early on action. St. James with the rock. Zach Werbus throws into coverage. And look who picks it off. The number one play from last week. Graves with yet another fantastic interception. Later on, Forrest going to the ground. Anthony McAfee here with a long beauty of a run but he's come up just a tad bit short of the end zone. Nevertheless, a few plays later, McAfee stopped, he stripped. Jamarius Faulkner recovers a chance spoil for the Panthers. That's gonna lead to a uh, St. James 47 yard field goal in the seconds to give the Sharks a three nothing lead. Carolina Forest getting it back. Diverse Simmons, he didn't play at the beginning, but he came up and picked up where he left off. 30 yards down to the four. Then Matt Bill, the sophomore sensation, keeper, end zone, 7-3, Carolina Forest. We got ourselves a game before the half. Werba forced to scramble, but boy, he is just lit up. Ryan Heron with a major hit. Score remains 7-3 at the half. Third quarter, Forrest back on the doorstep. Bill on the keeper, takes it in for another score. Panthers up 14-3, still third. Diverse, can't come up with a rock. The Sharks do, they scoop and they score. Personally, would cut the Panther lead to 14-10. Oh man, that's a, that's a heartbreaker there. But in the fourth, they make up for it. The four is putting it away. Bill with a 40 yard pass. Jason Kraft, my friend, that is one heck of a grab. You should be proud of that one. Simmons adds a late touchdown and the Forest. They keep the Coney Bowl. Coach says, congratulations, young man. That is why you play football. Carolina Forest goes on to win this one. 28 to 10. Panthers improved to two and one on the season. More importantly than getting the W is they get to keep the old Coney Bowl trophy. And that's always a plus. Mark Morris has a little bit of time to kind of wind down and enjoy this game just because we made him come into the studio because you know how Coach Morris is. He's always all about football. And with that, we're going to go live to the studio. Head coach Mark Morris and our own Mark Haggard. You know what? Fantastic job, guys, all the way around. Well-deserving. You got it done in every aspect you could on and off the field. Coach, congratulations. And with that, Mark, take it away. Mark Morris and his Carolina Panthers are the Sonic Team of the Week. They have enjoyed their Sonic victory meal outside. And now they're inside, ready to celebrate. First, we're going to hear from the Carolina Forest cheerleaders. Ladies, go. C, 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 I, C, 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 I, C, 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 I, C, 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 C. Oh my gosh, and what a big week it was at the Forest. You guys won the Spirit Award, and we're going to have much more on that later in the show. And I know you're doing me a favor by coming in, because what would you rather be doing right now? Well, you know, last year I forgot to mention my wife, so I better mention that Let's too. Let's do that. Make sure I mention uh, her support and all that, Megan. And uh, obviously we'd rather get ready, go ahead and get started on next week and start working on North Myrtle Beach. But proud of the kids tonight. Thank you guys for all that you do at Channel 15, and thanks Sonic tonight for all they've done this week. So. And speaking of Sonic, they've got a presentation for you. That big old Coney Bowl trophy you love so much. You're two for two now. Yeah. 
you want to say a few words on behalf of Sonic? Well, guys, my name's Ben Simmons. I'm an operating partner with Sonic. On behalf, on behalf of Sonic, congratulations on the second year in a row. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm going to tell you something, that trophy's heavy. That ought to count for uh, one round in the weight room. Well, you know, that's the reason why I had to pass it back, giving the guys a little bit stronger than me. So it goes right to the kids. They did a great job tonight and, and really worked hard all week and a uh, good win for us. Let's go through this game, pluses and minuses, as you beat St. James 28-10 to 10 tonight. Uh, main thing tonight was our defense. I mean, really played well the whole night. I think we gave up three points on defense. And... Uh, you know, just credit them. Coach Bailey and our defensive staff did an unbelievable job. So, happy with them. Did a great job tonight. And that was they really time. did. I mean, the only thing was that 47-yard bomb. So, you didn't really let them uh, really sniff that end zone. No, we thought a big moment in the game was we had back-to-back uh, -back turnovers. And they picked up and scored one. And uh, we had another turnover right after that. And our defense held them and prevented the field goal. And then, uh, fortunately for us, we came back and scored two touchdowns right after that. So, that was a... Big moment in the football game tonight. And Matt Beal, sophomore, still a puppy. But, hey, two touchdown runs, one touchdown pass, didn't play like a puppy. No, Matt's doing a good job for us right now. And, uh, you know, really we've got a bunch of, a bunch of good parts around him, and, and he's doing a great job. Still got a little learning curve to go through. But uh, working real hard right now. But, you know, like I said, we've got a lot of great parts around him, and they're all doing a pretty good job right now. And then that defense, oh, my gosh. And you know what? You know what I didn't do? I think I'm going to have to get one of the Sonic members to go over and get one of those game balls for me and toss it to Coach. Coach, do you have good hands? I have pretty good hands, yes. You look like you probably were a lineman. No, no. we got the game ball right there if you want to just toss it to us. Coach Morris is your target, and if you can't hit him, oh, look at those soft hands. Who does the HTC game ball go to? It's got to be somebody from the defense. Well, I tell you what, I mean, the night, the night was all about our defense, and there's more than – just one person, but um, felt like our whole day did a great job. But tonight we're going to give the ball to Ryan Perry and our middle linebacker. Ryan. Let me tell you something. You brought the lumber tonight. 13 solo tackles, three assists for a total of 16 tackles tonight. Let's talk up this Panther defense. Um, well, you know, we just came out and did our assignments. Um, I basically did my job and everyone else did their jobs. I mean, that was our goal. Right now we're focusing on North Myrtle Beach, preparing for their offense, and, I mean, that's the end of the story. Well, but let's talk about this game tonight a little bit more, this St. James game. I mean, you guys were just knocking them in the dirt tonight. <laughs> um, well, yeah. Um, me and, um, <laughs> you know, me and um, my other middle linebacker, Tyler Harris, was um, we were doing cool. a pretty – Bang up job. The guy with the dreads. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh. Uh, I couldn't, hey, I, Ryan, I couldn't read the name on his back. Those dreads were covering up his name, but he was putting licks on people. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we were knocking heads, and, um, you know, it, it, all, it all starts with the line. Uh, I'd like to thank Samson and Steven for um, leading in those lines, and Jeff, Mario. And, um, and uh, we, had, we had great coverage in the secondary, Richmond. Um, we had Tariq and Jimmy doing great. Doing great Tariq made that one pick? Oh, yeah. Tariq made a great pick, made a great play. Uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. All right, pretty much it. It's pretty good. <laughs> Carolina Forest Panthers playing a little bit of defense. Going to have to play some more defense next week. You're going to be facing Sunshine, Ronnie Bass. And those North Myrtle Beach Chiefs, they had a big win this week, too. Yeah, Coach Harden does a great job and known him for a long time up in North Carolina and mm -hmm. got the utmost respect for Blair and his program, whatever he does. And I'm sure he'll have his team ready next week and hopefully we will too. How big a deal I, I ask coaches this all the time, how big a deal are these non region games to you? Well to be honest to me now, I mean for our community and our school, they're they're pretty big because you're playing a lot of local teams and local rivals, but to me, it's all about just preparation for the regional play. I mean, the goal is still to win a state championship. If that's not where your sights are set on, I, I think they're kind of off. So the goal is getting the playoffs. We use these region games to prepare for it and hope we'll play well next week and keep improving each week. Man, I'll tell you what, you did it all. You beat St. James. You got the Sonic Coney Bowl trophy again. And what a – oh, let's talk about the school spirit, Coach. That, that means something to your football team. When you see the, the, the stands packed like they were, you win the ABC 15 Spirit Award. No, we'll put our student body up with anybody's in the, in the 
school and all the kids and all their support and community support is getting so much better. And, you know, our, our school and the spirit of our school, the, just the atmosphere at our place right now is unbelievable. And, you know, it starts with Miss Driggers at the top and works down. So, I mean, kids have done a great job and, and uh, very proud of them, very proud of our school. What do you think of the black hole? Love our student body. I told you that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to keep getting more and more kids out there, but they do a great job in all our sports. And uh, just hope they keep getting better, keep improving. We enjoy them supporting us and uh, enjoy having them out. And I know right now you're going to go home. Actually, maybe you won't. Maybe you're going to go draw up some X's and O's and get ready for next week. I know you like to w work through the night. We will not go home too early tonight, no, sir. So it's <laughs> ready to get after. But like I said, proud of our kids, proud of our school, proud of our community tonight. And, Thank you, guys, and thanks, Sonic, again for all that y'all do. Well, that's all we've got from here. Let's hear it, guys. You are the Sonic Team of the Week. Congratulations to the Panthers. A fine victory both on and off the field. Well-deserving of the Coney Bowl trophy this year.